often do you use that complaint that you don't have time to work out? Well, sorry, couch potatoes, because that won't work anymore. I've got fitness editor Michelle Foley here with three ways that you can really save a ton of time when you're working up a sweat. Michelle, what's, where's the bet? Where should we start? Let's start with my gym bag. <laughs> I think it's really important to go to the gym with a workout specific bag, simply because you don't want to spend a ton of time rifling through it trying to find your belongings. I love this bag by Under Armour. It has this convenient front pocket, so it makes it really easy to grab your gym ID. It has this handy little key ring in here, so your keys are not buried on the bottom of the bag. You can grab your locker key. Extremely roomy inside for all your clothes, your shoes, and then there's also five more pockets inside. So there's space for your shampoo, your brush, everything you need. You're not gonna dump your contents all over the locker room floor. I think that's what happens. People just bring like a tote bag full of yes. all their various gym items and, and then you're just, like you said, rifling through everything. Right. Now how much is this? It's pretty affordable. It's only about $50, $55. So it makes it a lot cheaper than a lot of the bags on the market today. All right, so you have the bag, you're more organized with that, but what should you put inside? So I always have some facial cleansing wipes in my gym bag. You definitely should not work out uh, with makeup on. You don't want to clog your pores, but you don't also want to spend five minutes in the locker room washing your face. So you grab a facial wipe, wipe off your makeup while you're on the treadmill, on your way to the gym class, and you've saved minutes off of your time spent there. I love these facial cleansing wipes by Simple. They take off mascara, they're pretty much all natural ingredients, no perfume, no dyes, no alcohol. So it's not gonna strip your skin either. No, I think these are very important. I'm, yes. I, I'm a huge <laughs> evangelizer of, of these right here. All right, now what is the last thing, let's say, you know, it's app, you've got these at the beginning of your workout, but what about at the end? So we all know how notorious those shower lines can be. So I love to have dry shampoo in my bag. When you can't make it to the shower or you just don't have time to wash your hair, a little dry shampoo goes a long way. It's gonna soak up oil, residue, dirt. Um, and if you're extremely set sweaty, you can even do a little trick, just blow dry your hair and spray the dry shampoo in. I love this brand. It's a drugstore brand, so it makes it very affordable. This small bottle is under $2. I feel like dry shampoo is, is a game changer. And it once is. I discovered that, I was like, a whole new world. I have so much time on my hands. You do, and you walk out looking better than you walked in sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so with these three items, you can cut some corners so you can do more cardio and yes. pump more iron. All right, thanks so much, Michelle. Thank you.